Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign, a campaign where we're trying to beat the game with less hit points, less equipment, less different classes, more niche builds and of course better advents and better chosen. It's going to be fun. I am, I need to say that uh, the game as it's going on is actually getting a bit more difficult and this is fantastic to see so I, ABA is delivering at least um, or our builds are so niche that they are not really working that well either way it is great fun because the missions are not getting so much easier but uh, keep the same kind of level of difficulty today it's time for operation wolf strike which is a dark vip mission and i brought the b team with us we got warts and primos coming from the a team and then we filled it up with uh, toxic sukuger zirkim and mike the public bravo and as always we put in a diverse set of equipment this time we got four different types of grenades that's fantastic we got primos here with his rocket launcher as well we got the bolt thrower the cross blades as well as the frozen grenade here so quite the arsenal shall i say and hopefully this is going to go well it's labeled difficult so i assume we're fighting against 15 ish enemies Good, time to land. As always, we will start without any concealment and as it seems also on low ground, which is even worse. The evac is on high ground, that in itself is good. And at least, at least we got some high ground over here. Hmm, however, that being said, we could also try to kind of pincer them. I mean, they're you could theoretically go about that and essentially move through the low ground and then come up here and fight them heads on which is an interesting alternative i've been using high, high ground for quite a while so i don't know yet let's use uh, john zirkim who's the only one with concealment to make up our mind that is a new viper and it looks reddish hmm no clue what it does but it looks red for now i'm pretty sure that all of the long-term a better advent fans will say but psychin that was xyz the pyro viper or whatever and they will be like how could you not immediately know that this guy is having two binds per round or spits aoe i don't know well that's a beautiful part about a better advent you never really know this should not trigger it could and if it does we can fight it well i suppose we're going to find out what the si uh, what the viper is going to do so what are we dealing with that's the sector soldier a vivern and a sector soldier should i double check that for you all right toxic is uh, moving up as well okay. and zukuger moves up as well so far so good and so predictable we're going to remove cover it might as well remove our way up um, on the rooftop but that's okay no it is not and that's even better fantastic good zukuger 100 percent chance to kill the vivern consider me interested Trying to hit that soldier. Nope. This could be a kill. We've upgraded the pistol damage. Yep. And it worked like a charm. What exactly would the hack do? Squad side. That isn't bad. Yeah, that is nasty though. I will check out how well our actual hacker can hack this. 
and let's just give him a good pounding so that he runs back to his friends there we go we know the next pack is somewhere there well we pretty much know that the next pack is right there Okay, so would that be a viable option? 90%? I think it would. Not this turn. I think it would be a fantastic option to be precise. Alright, moving over. Again, moving over. Let's mark these bad boys. <laughs> That's not only marked. The guy is almost down. I love it. So we could move in, but that would definitely trigger something. And I'm not ready for another pack yet. I would love to scan first. 50-50 on that trooper. All right. Well, we can also we can also mark the trooper. Either way works. Uh, the combat protocol will take care of that guy. And we would have overdrive plus the kit if all things are not working out. So let's mark that other trooper over here. Did not only mark it, but even hit it. Aye, aye. Moving up. That would be... Both of them could be a kill. Might as well take a shot here. Alright. Now we're talking. Good. 77% to uh, kill him or 88%. Let's go with the highest target first because we can still comet protocol. There we go. First two packs and we successfully bodied these fools. I'm not going to say like two pack because that would be too much of a morbid joke, but I'm two packs and they essentially died is i guess the the point of what i was trying to say all right time to move thirteen rounds okay stop, this should not stop, trigger anything stop. not yet On your moving order. up into cover Okay, this might allow us to take that overwatch. Yes, please. <laughs> All enemies take a defense and mobility boost. Fantastic. Well, the idea was to stay there with our nice little squad side and essentially hit those guys. Which then again didn't work out. We're just moving up. And let's again move up here. Overwatching. 
All right, if anyone moves, we're in a fantastic spot to hit them. Come on, move just a tiny bit, guys. I'd like to overwatch trap. Didn't work out. We got 11 more turns. Might as well take advantage of our better uh, of our better positioning. Okay, fantastic. We are moving up. Starting to mark the heavy lancer. I ground is an advantage. Time for an overdrive. To be honest, I think that this here is the right play. Gets rid of the cover. Softens them substantially. And time for some death from above. Right on the margin. Okay, or not. Or not. In which case... He just barely survived. He still has a lot of defense. Thanks to that failed hack. We got another combat protocol. If we were to, uh, if we were neat. The Irkim is still good to go. All right, moving over, careful movement. Huh. I'm not taking any... Ah, no! <laughs> oh my god, how ugly. I'm not taking any chances. Okay, well, luckily that did not kill him. I am shocked and surprised myself, guys. Oh boy, that was the worst. My misclicks during the season are legendary. Alright, we're overwatching and just going to keep a close uh, overwatch on those guys. Is he just going to... Yeah, he's just going to... Use his ability and that's about it. This unit is now reloading. Okay, that won't uh, kill him. Not with one go. I mean, the obvious uh, option here is to go around and essentially kill him. We can potentially do that. We can restell the next turn and and then go for it again. Unbelievable just how much defense these guys are getting from the failed hack. Okay, we're reloading just to mark him. Should have done that beforehand. Target's 
He's marked now. I mean, just look at that. It's crazy. 30. moves up it's killing time. I'm compelled to agree. and we're overwatching as for down here we don't need to climb up let's just take the low ground there is one more pack around, potentially back there uh, where the dark VIP is located. Oh, we do not have Phantom yet. Okay. Well, I suppose no restill thing in this particular case. We got an advanced stock and an alarm core. The latter is helpful because we want extra ammunition, extra weapons and so on. Moving up. I feel light on my feet. Moving over here. Vorts potentially should move up as well. Right there. And our sniper will take the long shot from here. I'm careful with the fire, to be honest. Good. Time for a scanning protocol. I want to know what we're dealing with. Good. There's the last pack. Uh, looks like a shield bearer plus a mech plus something else. Double Overwatch. Got it covered. Come get some. Okay, we're good. They are moving further down. Interestingly enough, not yet in range. Slow progress. I don't want to trigger them yet. So we're eventually just moving a bit closer. They are on low uh, ground compared to us at the moment. It's unfortunate. Just barely scouted them out, really. Let's see if we can kill the purifier right away. Shield bearer, can we mark these guys? Let's go for the purifier first. The target. Oh, we don't have mark. Ah, we don't have a marking on them. Okay, good. Well, gotta deal with the purifier. That's for sure. That stun will buy us a bit more time. And this here should deal with the purifier for now. 
leaves us with one unchecked enemy. But they will first of all need to move up. Alright, Overwatch. I can live with that. Can we shut this guy down? That would be fantastic. All of them do have a defense bonus already. Yep. I'll go for the easy shutdown. Of course, controlling the enemy would have been even better, but I'm okay with just disabling them for now. They are the last unit. We have plenty of time. Okay, well, we started shredding them. I'm on it. Moving over here. Let's get that 100% kill. We got death from above and implaceable. So we're ready to relocate. Enemy That's some nasty damage. Some over here. I'm trusting you here. Okay, we've point. set up the mech. Beat, beat. Mike is going to be the one carrying the dark VIP. This should potentially kill the mech and give us yet another turn. Which we're going to use in order to reload. Okay, so far so good. I think we've done decently well. Six more turns. And that will start to trigger reinforcements. we get up there holy moly really from behind hmm. that is a long distance but Roger we that. still have six, uh, six turns so i think we should be fine Roger that. Let's move ready reloading and so next turn we're going to see reinforcements popping in yep there we go Call it. Menace one five. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Got your goods. Uh, that weighs even longer. Dash it. Might as well dash over here. We're just going to charge up here and I'll try it next turn to deal with the reinforcements. Okay, so we're going to take one shot potentially. Those guys should not have the defense uh, benefits that their predecessors had. Alright, 
four turns. Good. I think we can go. start from uh, fighting from up here. Marking this guy. Wurtz goes to the very edge. Kills trooper. Death from above, thank you. A spark takes the high ground and a position where it can hit everybody. Free reload into shredding and shredding, and Wurtz is going to ramp up some kills. So much for death from above. I absolutely love the ability. Moving on target location. Back in. Good. It should be the last round. Next round we can evac. What a nasty evac zone, specifically since the exit is so far tilted to the back if you don't pay attention to it you could easily find yourself kind of wondering why you can't evac What's over there? Got the VIP is secure. I'm out of here. good and that nicely brings us to the end of this mission i think overall pretty decent each of the pulls was individual and then we yeah, pulled, I think, two packs at uh, one time, but overall, pretty straightforward mission. And we landed. Hello. Let's take a look. I would like to see a promotion on boards. We're taking Advent apart one mission at a time. 74 kills. Impressive. That is nasty. She's really kind of leading the kill charts almost. But Primos also did a fantastic job. Everybody did a, a great job, but those two stood out. Another Alarium core, and we finally also got the intel. For one second, I was afraid that my misclick would have killed the Dark VIP, but apparently those guys have five hit points. So one more than our than our protocol would be dealing. Uh, alien alloys are good, not fully needed yet. Let's just. Double check what we can upgrade. I think we still had a couple of things that we could upgrade. No, those are irrelevant. Yeah, and we're fine. Okay, so we actually can take uh, the money for something meaningful. No more resistance comps needed. Laboratory also not really needed. I have a vitalized module also not needed. They'd have to be producing it from something here on Earth. They seem to have an endless supply of this stuff. We got enough intel, so I think what we could do is shift around that energy. I mean, we want to build something more, right? So might as well build a power relay here. That is on a node, right? Yeah, shielded power coil. Power relay construction initiated. Okay, before we're putting all of our engineers there, might as well do that. Once we have the power, we can upgrade the resistance communications. That's only 12 days from now, so we can continue to expand.
We could use reduction of uh, contact costs because that way we can go over here and easily make contact. Even though it normally would cost uh, like 160, it would go down to 80. So we would essentially gain 80 intel from it. Good. This is the Archon. Let's keep that in mind. Communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And we're slowly but surely moving towards that full bar. She's now training for the second time. That is dangerous. The additional dark event is also not that nice. So what are we dealing with? This is not too bad. This is somewhat nasty. I really don't want to do it because uh, keep in mind how we always use kind of the alien facility counter to keep it low. And you can see five more weeks until the, the next alien facility is even created and when the Avatar project continues. More enemies to every mission for one month. That is nasty. Show of force. If we continue, if we have that as a permanent dark event, oh boy, that will hurt. So all of them are pretty nasty. We could go with plus two resistance contacts and just continue. Um, just continue expanding for now. Effects of weapons increase. That's good. I like it. Supply drop plus 10%, also not bad. We don't need that. I'm not I'm, I'm not banking on someone dying. This one is completely useless. And now it's either intel or supplies. I think we're going with supplies for now. I like the plus two resistance contacts. Consider it done, Commander. Sabotage gets us really far down and we are getting 500 supplies so that's not bad unfortunately this wasn't happening before because that would be another 100 supplies and technical analysis uh, we don't have that yet so what we want to do is we want to install a radio relay doesn't matter we really need that good quick feed has plus one health Let's see what else we got. So we, we still uh, need a uh, promotion to get here. Let's take a look. Dodge 5 not st uh, is okay. Getting that stronghold is bad. Dodge plus 9 is fantastic for 9 days. Recruiting a scientist plus health isn't bad either. Ooh, that one is good. I like it. Double agent as, as a resistance order. That's actually a pretty strong one. Promotion and avatar project together is great as well. Okay, that isn't bad either. Plus a promotion. We got a couple of nice ones here. I'm not going to lie. But I think we're going to start with double agent. Double agent. And I'm not sure if we, we need the avatar pro project too much. So double agent is great. Uh, what was the nine dodge? That's ability points and dodge. Not bad either. And we had another good one. Health for seven days. Promotions aren't bad either. Specifically if we can kind of use our personal combat sims. In terms of timing, one training is almost done. I really wish that we would uh, level up faster. But leveling comes with time. So uh, we're, we're still in the early mid game. We, I don't need to stress it too much. We're actually okay with that. Although, of course, we could kind of cheese it. I act, I, I, I'm not too worried about uh, doing that, but I am worried about not catching up with enough health, for instance. So that's why I'm so 
so much looking for that extra dodge and that extra help. For now, I would like to have that extra agent here. That'll give us some more... That'll give us some more oomph on the missions. Dranks is going to do that. Dranks is going to do it together with... Let's say Hunk. Both of them. Double agent. Nine days. Looks like a keeper to me. Because we still have room for some good, uh, for some good resistance orders. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. And Despite guess what? Study of we got the Bauer's serpent suit. I have yet to discover how she came to acquire. And finally, we got the last breakthrough, which is shotguns plus one damage. So we're going to do that as well. I think we got all of the four weapon categories now. Which is funny if you ask me, having all four of the breakthroughs in one game. What can I do for you, Commander? Where's the serpent suit? Yeah, instant. Thank you. And whilst we're at it, um, let's add the Shadow Keeper next. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. I like that battlefield medicine thing. It's not bad because it also will improve our healing capabilities so far we have really not used the medkit so well i was low-key hoping that our skirmisher could be the new the new uh, medic but yeah we still need to find a way of getting a better utilization i need someone with a kind of special med kit ability and that person will potentially make their way into our main team because we need a medic i like to play with one even though there is no medical protocol heavy weapons wouldn't be bad either i think there you can make an argument of having that extra heavy weapon you can definitely make an argument for another grenade You know what, let's not use the grenade. I think I want another ammunition. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send All right. word when the project is complete. We got bond level two. Bond level two means whenever we're putting them onto a covert ops mission, those two lovebirds will also speed up the mission by one day. We finally got the skull check. And there is yet another mission for a... Are you kidding me? Neutralize the target? That sort of looks like yet another dark VIP mission. And we just had a dark VIP mission. Why is the game giving us all that intel? I wonder. Okay, we definitely will have the A-team available here. I just want to double check that sweet, sweet serpent suit. I don't blame Shen for wanting to keep an eye on Tigan, but at this point, we need all the help we can get. Oh yeah, that is awesome. I, I like what I'm seeing. The aim is still moderate; could be better, but I think overall, uh, fantastic. Uh, the, the PCSs of the weapon itself are highly improved uh, thanks to our uh, to our uh, resistance order. And yeah, we need the superior uh, constitution, elsewise she would potentially not su um, survive a single shot. So that looks good. One thing that I have not figured out whom should we bond Reckoner with, but then again, we're potentially running with a uh, with a Spark, so uh, Spark can't be can't be bonded. Might want to get a second Spark if time permits. There, 
I'm, I'm still not totally uh, settled on that uh, kind of final setup. I like the typical four plus skirmisher in Spark. That looks like a, a reasonable kind of composition for a niche run. It's one that I have not run yet. Two Sparks is uh, almost too similar to the uh, Rise of the Robots campaign because they can help one another and it uh, they begin to be quite dominant, shall I say. I, I like one Spark and that's fine. It doesn't need to be two Sparks. Uh, the Reaper eventually can come in um, with kind of the second, uh, second team. Maybe the second team is Reaper plus Spark and the typical four. Then we do have two distinct teams, but both uh, will make sense. I still need to get more niche items. Uh, we're, we're not quite done yet. We've already seen a few, but I definitely would want to get uh, some more. Let's, uh, before we end, check the black, uh, black market ones because we have so much intel. Avenger plotting new course. And then we call it quits and do another mission in the next episode. Market is open. Good, so from a purchasing perspective, could get another scientist, maybe. Superior perception and superior conditioning. Oh wow, that's 90 Intel. That's not bad. Let me shortly think about that. I mean, those are fantastic purchases. All right. And one thing that we could do before we're slamming that into our main team, I think there uh, there had been the breakthrough in one of the covert ops to exchange the personal combat sims. So we got currently superior conditioning. I would like to take superior aim, but three hit points, I think, is uh, and, and the ability to not immediately die. It's currently better than 13 aim, although it would grant us quite a bit of aim definitely need superior conditioning here already got superior conditioning superior conditioning and quick feed has agility and we might want to run him with agility to be honest we'll uh, we'll just get him some more uh, some more health via maybe an armor vest or something along the lines Sandman had superior speed, and that is fine. I, I approve. Sparks can't get PCSs, so yeah. Eventually, Mike here could get the superior perception, because why not? I mean, it, it makes sense to put it on a sniper, and Mike would be the sniper of the second team. Is in so far expandable as they are prone to be one shot later. I want to make sure that the that the main team is not in that in that camp. So that's why I'm putting the superior conditions in there, which for most of them will at least give them the normal amount of hit points back that uh, that they have lost. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate uh, your viewership. Uh, leave a comment and a like uh, down below, and hopefully see you in two days. Bye bye.